Yo, what's up, guys? Alex Baker for Stochastic here. I'm doing some FanDuel lineups. I'm going to go through how to use some of the Stochastic tools uh, to build some awesome lineups this week. So new to the lineup generator this week, you can pick your stack settings. So uh, in general, I like to stack two players on FanDuel, if not three. So either two-man stacks or two-man stacks plus run back. Uh, both seem like pretty good options. And then I'm going to build one chalky lineup, one contrary, and one medium. So um, this lineup, it's super chalky, I guess. So, uh, But Andy Dalton, that's a little bit out there. Uh, Chris Lave, Camara, I kind of like that. And uh, who's New Orleans playing this week? They're playing Rams. So... I kind of would want to run it back maybe because I do like some Rams receivers. Um, but I'll discard that one for now. Let's try to get something that has a little lower ownership. Josh Allen obviously is a great option every single week. Pretty chalky lineup. Uh, maybe not. It's bad using a large shield tournament. But, okay, here we're starting to get interesting. Josh Allen, McKenzie, Davis. Um, Buffalo is playing Cleveland. So I do feel like that one would be one I might want to do with the run back. So I'll come back to that one. Um, let's actually just go back and I'll, I'll pick some with the run back. All right. Dak. I like Dak. Um, Dallas has been throwing at a pretty good rate. So you got Lamb, you got Brown. And then this one is Dallas versus Minnesota. Minnesota's got some serious firepower. Adam Thielen, he has been cold, so he's going to be low on. So like that. Um, Cordero Patterson, I don't feel great about, but it is a 26-point total for the Falcons. I, I guess I just don't love the lineup enough to, to enter it. All right. Heineke, Samuel, McLaurin, and Washington, they're playing Houston this week. So Damian Pierce run back. He's not necessarily the quintessential run back, but if he has a big game, that means Washington's going to have to pass. So I do like this. And then we got Montgomery. I like him with no cool Herbert. And Pittman with Matt Ryan back. I kind of like this. Got some sub 10% players. Got a contrarian stack. So I'm going to save that. All right. So that was my contrarian lineup. Uh, Lamar is always someone I'm interested in. You got double tight end here. So maybe I'm going to discard that one. Uh, Buffalo, Singletary, Davis. And then we're running it back with Donovan Peoples-Jones. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know if I want Cordell Patterson in two lineups, so, so let's skip that. Uh, okay, this one's looking pretty good. Denver, Russ plus Sutton plus Dolchich, and then um, Denver, they are playing Las Vegas. So Vegas has some good run backs. Josh Jacobs, been a killer fantasy player this year. Rondre Stevenson, I like a lot. Um, it's, uh, Damian Harris is probably back but i think that he still is going to be he's kind of showing that when harris is active he's still a workhorse and then uh yeah i like this one a lot it's uh higher on our uh contrary and meeting meter here but has really high projection for the last lineup, i want to mention you can get three days free trial uh all you have to do is in the description below click the link and so casting membership, you get projections, ownership, top stacks, lime generators, our newest feature. This is really designed to help you build awesome limes really quick so that you can win more money at the tournaments. And that's what we're here for. So try it out free. You get it through, uh, through Monday. So you get Sunday night slate, or Sunday main, Monday night. And once you win some money, we'll hope you stick around. So that's really what we're here to help you do. All right, Alan Davis digs. Hard to poke holes in that, but uh, let's see. Who have saved Heineke and Wilson? So maybe getting a uh, chalky QB like 
Um, Josh Allen's a good idea. Justin Fields, Mooney, Montgomery, certainly pretty reasonable start to a lineup. And then Kyle Pitts run back. I do <laughs> kind of want to get a Justin Fields lineup just because I've just been getting crushed with not having enough of them. And uh, on FanDuel, really you're you're trying to get touchdown upside. So like more, more than yards. So like the fact that Fields doesn't throw as much isn't as problematic as on DraftKings. So I do like this one as a way to get some Chicago exposure. Um, a double tight end had so, like really hard value this week. So maybe if I was uh, going to enter this one, maybe I could spend down at defense a little bit, get a better flex play. But uh, yeah, I think these are some really good lineups. I'll just take, take a look. All of them are in this sweet spot of fancy points. It's like really hard to get a high fancy point projection this week because there's not a lot of value, not a lot of players out. All of them in like kind of the same range of ownership. And then we got this new player exposure meter. So I'm not very overexposed to any particular player with these three lineups. So that's a nice spot to be. So we can get maximize our chance with weird sweat. All right, guys. Let me know what you think of these lineups. Uh, if you could hit the like button on the way out, I'd greatly appreciate that. And let me know what you think of the lineup general, what, what you think of these new features here. Good luck this week.